reproductive system model. Here we have the urinary bladder and we have one of the ureters bringing urine into the urinary bladder. Here we can see some of the rectum here and anus down here. We can see labia majora here and then labia minora here. These are the Skene's glands right here and these are the Bartholin glands. Those will produce secretions that will help to lubricate the vagina or the vaginal opening. This right here is the clitoris. It's erectile tissue in the female. A okay, very sensitive structure. This right here is the fimbria around the ovary. What I'm going to do now is remove this front plate right here so that we can see the structures on the inside. Here we have the uterus. Okay, this is the uterus. You can see the endometrium right here and the myometrium. Uh, here we can see the cervix. In this hole or opening is the os of the cervix. This area here is the fornix. This would be the posterior fornix and the anterior fornix, the space I'm talking about here. This right here is the rectouterine pouch. This right here is the vesicouterine pouch. Vesicle for the urinary bladder and then uterine for uterus. Now, this structure right here is the vaginal canal and you can see the ruga here. There are folds on this inner membrane to allow this area to expand. Okay. Here we can see a better view of the labia minora and labia majora. Okay. Here would be part of the clitoris. This is erectile tissue in the female, analogous to the corpus cavernosum in the male. This right here is the urinary bladder, and here we can see the urethra exiting the urinary bladder, bringing urine from the bladder outside the body. Notice the urethra in the female is short, which makes females more prone to urinary tract infections because the bacteria don't have far to travel. We get a better view of some of these other structures. Here we can see the fimbria, and this right here is the uterine tube, also known as the fallopian tube. Okay. This right here, this almond-shaped structure right here, that's going to be the ovary. Okay. Now it's attached to the uterus by way of the ovarian ligament. Okay. This right here would be the round ligament of the uterus, and this round ligament of the uterus is going to pass through the inguinal canal and anchor the uterus into the labia majora. Okay. This would be an analogous structure to the male's ductus deferens. All of this membrane here that would help to suspend the uterus, this membrane would be the broad ligament. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhealth.com.